Hello guys, this is Ronit from MathX and today we're going to be doing number 22 from the first and second grade Math Kangaroo of 2020. Now this problem in my opinion does not deserve the place of 22 because when you get down to solving this problem, you can solve this problem pretty easily just using the basic concept of odd plus odd is equal to an even number or odd plus even is equal to an odd number and even plus even is equal to an even number. But anyways, let's get started. Ru wrote each of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5 in one of the circles. So the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column. What number could be written in the circle with the question mark? And the answer choices for this problem is A, only 5, B, 3, 2, or 4, C, only 3, D, only 1 or 3, E, only 1, 3, or 5. Okay, to get started on this problem, let's label each of these sections as A, B, C, and D. We have A, B as from left to right as the row here, and C, D as the column from up to down. Okay, so after we concluded that, since it said in the problem that the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column, we can write down that A plus B is equal to C plus D. Now, after we concluded that, we can conclude one more thing. That the sum of all four of these circles will have to be even. That means because it has to be even because that sum of the circles will be even since it has to be divided into two to equal these two equal numbers which is a plus b is equal to c plus d meaning that a plus b plus c is plus d is equal to an even number now another thing we can conclude which will solve this problem for us is that we can only have odd numbers in the center because if you look at the numbers here one two three four and five you see that there are only two even numbers and it says that the row plus the column will have to be even as we concluded earlier so another thing we know is like what i said at the beginning of this video about the odd plus odd is equal to even, even plus even is equal to even, and odd plus even is equal to odd. So, since we have a plus b is equal to c plus d, we can't have an odd plus an even. Because if we have the odd plus an even with a odd plus odd, it won't work. Because we have odd plus even. For example, we'll have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And now let's have a odd plus an odd. So then we would have 2 plus 3 would be equal to 1 plus 5, which is not true. So we can't get rid of these even numbers to put it in the center. As if you may have been confused earlier, we can't put it even in the center for the sake of having an uh, even plus an odd, which would not be allowed since then we would have an odd plus an odd. And they're different, such as one being odd and one being even. Showing you that the only numbers that can go into the center is only odd numbers. So let's just draw on E as our answer. Showing you that this problem was nothing then a little bit more of the basic concept of odd plus odd, even plus even, and odd plus even. So, as you can see, we have solved this problem, meaning that we are now officially finished.